It is so beautiful in here today. So sunny. Oh, oh man. It's just glowing. Look at our beautiful baskets. Ah. And I'm really excited because the Rex begonias have really started to fill in and take off. They're always a really fun option. We started bringing out some annual color. We started bringing out wax begonias, impatience. Tis the season. Next week's going to be a really, really good time to start putting stuff out. Our tractor seats are getting so big. We do have Mandavia in for those that were waiting on that. Um, and we've got some lovely palladiums to start, some giant delphiniums along with our smaller ones, some bromeliads there, some tree ferns, we've got our staghorn ferns. Kimberly mounts these for us um, and it's so fun because we have so much variation. You get to watch them growing in and you get to see all that new growth coming on. These new leaves are just stunning. So all kinds of shapes and sizes on those. And then we also got um, a bunch of new house plants in. Um, so that's exciting. We have some beautiful colors of streptocarpus. It's not currently blooming, but it will be soon. I'm loving that deep, deep color. And then this one is really pretty too. So when those start popping open, they're gonna be gorgeous. Loving these giant glossy leafed calathea. Um, look at these orbifolia. Oh, oh my God, I, I might need one. Um, <laughs> they're really tempting me actually. And our Prince of Orange is really vibrant. Really nice coloration. But yeah, we've definitely got some new beauties in the houseplant area. So that's exciting as well. And yeah, just so much annual color right now. And some of our perennials are starting to bloom too. To say it's colorful right now is a great understatement. We actually, it's not organized in the way we would like because we are having some pretty cold nights tonight and definitely tomorrow night we're gonna have very hard freezes so we brought a lot of things in um, to keep them warm and so we have some gorgeous annuals and herbs in this aisle and it's just so colorful along with all of our beautiful sun coleus back there I'm taking so many pictures because I just love all the colors together. Look at these little pictures. They are precious. Just love Nepenthes. Different colors and sizes. And we've got some pretty decent sized fly traps right now. Plus these adorable butterwort. The butterwort have been very popular. Um, they are just so cute. They're a great windowsill option, um, but they have these precious little blooms. Yes, it's early. It's definitely early, especially with this cold night. Come, these cold nights coming up, but we do have our portulaca up. Some of it. We grew a lot, so this is just just the beginnings of it, but it is very full and it is blooming for those of you that just cannot wait for your portulaca. Oh, this color in this aisle. Okay. I have never seen our still be looking so happy. We change a little bit about when we start growing them and where we grow them. And they are just thrilled with that decision. But look at all the different shades of pink. I don't even like pink and I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some of these taking you down our accent plants aisle. So we've got sweet potato vine on the left. We've got other great container plants over here. The trailing silver falls or licorice plant for silver color. We've got our gorgeous garden meister fuchsia, some blooming heather, Mexican heather, the copa, euphorbia. Um, we've got false shamrocks, lots of those. Some Lucky Tangerina Butylon, got um, 
bloody dock, horrible name, but great plant. Um, Persian shield, really great for combos. Golden shrimp plant, another batch of all of our sun coleus, duranta, and ferns and spikes, all kinds of good stuff for your combo pots. And thankfully, our perennials are looking happy despite the chill. Betsy came up with this beautiful invention of um, bamboo sticks with pots on them to keep the... We want to make sure that the frost cloth is not pressing down on the plants because if that frost cloth is making contact with the leaves, they're still going to burn. So that's something very important to keep in mind. So we are covering a lot of the tables of our perennials that we just brought out from the cold frame so that they get a little extra protection uh, in particular last night and tonight. Um, or sorry, tonight and tomorrow night. Look at this GM. Oh, just love GM. Plant of the week. And um, you can read about that in our newsletter and also on our website, why we love GM. It's such an easy plant to grow. And some of the varieties actually bloom pretty much the whole summer long. Others are more of a late spring bloomer. They are just a wonderful plant. But yeah, we're really filled up out here.